Since Pickleball Brackets is not integrated with Duper yet, I thought I'd show you how to extract your tournament results from Pickleball Brackets and create the Duper submission spreadsheet that you can then submit your results into Duper. If you need some help with this, feel free to reach out to pickleballismylife at gmail.com. Welcome to Pickleball is Life. If you like these videos, all I ask is that you please press the red subscribe button on the bottom right. It won't cost you anything. And if you want to support my channel, here's my Pickleball is Life clothing line with fleece jackets, quarter zips, racer backs, t-shirts, shorts, hats, visors, and sport towels. Purchase them online or order them during tournament registration. Hi everyone, we're going to look at how to create a duper uh, results file to be able to submit results from du to, to duper. Um, this is the uh, results template that they send you and the goal is to create a spreadsheet. They have some sample data in here. So if we look at the data, the first column has to be a D or an S, whether it's a doubles or singles. Uh, rally scoring, uh, yes, no, or MLP, I usually use no. The name of your tournament, uh, the event, like doubles, uh, three, five, something like that. The date of the event, the player one, player two on team A, and then player one of team B, player two. For a singles match, it would be just this column and this column. Uh, the winning team A or B, and then the concatenated name of the winning team. The equation in here in the template is wrong, so I usually just fill that out through an equation. Scores for game one, uh, team A, team B. Game two, team A, team B. Game three, team A, team B, and so on. That will turn into something like this. This is one of my result spreadsheets where we have the tournament name, the event, the date, uh, the two players for doubles uh, for team A, team B, team A1 in this example, and then the concatenation of those names, and then the results of the matches. Some are best two out of three, some are not. Okay, so how do we get the data uh, into this format from uh, Pickleball Brackets? So we start by going into Pickleball Brackets <clears throat> and selecting Results here, which will give us a spreadsheet of the results of your tournament. Uh, we can get rid of the first row here, so I'll delete that. And I'm going to insert a whole series of columns because we're going to put our data in front of this data. So I'm highlighting all the columns and saying insert. And that gives us a whole bunch of rows. Under uh, page layout, you might have to turn on grid view to see the actual cells better. Okay, so we have the results data over here on the right. Okay, and we're going to fill in what we want here on the left. Look at our template. We want to get these columns. I'll grab the column headings here. A through Y, G here. So we're going to put our headings into G. And if we come over, you'll see it fills up leaving one extra column here. So we want to make sure we turn off wrapping and then if we highlight everything. So we have the data that we need to fill this data in here. Most of my data is uh, doubles starting out. So a D here, uh, rally scoring no. The event is the Galloway open. The bracket name can be simply equal to AG. We'll get that from the data. Year will be 2023. I believe this was month 6th. 
and day 18. Okay, so player A has to be first and last name um, from uh, concatenated together. Uh, first and last name, cap first, then lowercase. So we basically want to grab, we'll say equals, we have the uh, names here, AK, ampersand, quote, space, quote, ampersand, uh, AM. And that will give us the fir uh, first name of player one. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll do the same for uh, the other sets of players. Um, team A player two is going to be AO like this. Team B player one and team B player two. They're just picking up the names from over here. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Then we're going to get uh, whether <clears throat> team A or team B, the winning team, and we can do that with an equation, an if statement. If AY2 equals team 1, then return an A, else return a B. So that gives us the AB. Um, sometimes it'll be A, sometimes it'll be B. Then we'll concatenate together uh, the winning team. So if R2, which is if the winning team is A, we're going to concatenate uh, N2 and O2. Else we're going to concatenate uh, P2 and Q2. Then we're simply going to grab the scores. This is going to be BA2, BG2, um, BC2, B I two um, and the various scores. Um, all of my matches were just up to three, so I just filled in equations for these six cells. Again, they're getting their results from over here. Here is uh, Team One's score B A and uh, Team Two's game one score there. BG. So you'll see this is BA and that's BG too. <clears throat> okay. So that'll bring the scores over. So if we simply copy and paste these cells down, we'll just do a bunch of them here and I use control D to paste down. This, these are all just simple text fields. Here, this is getting the bracket name <clears throat> from the data, copying the uh, dates down. But then here, from here over, the names come over. So here we're getting all the names put together whether team A or team B won, the concatenated name, and then the results come over. So once we set up uh, just a handful of equations, we can get all the data over. If I copy this down, start from here, and we'll go to the over to the right. We're going to need to go to AE and then all the way down to the bottom. And so if we hold the shift key and highlight and then control D to copy down, you can see we've populated all the data. So now what we have to do is identify the singles matches and change the D to an S for singles. So if we just scroll through, uh, we'll see the uh, title or the missing name here identifies it as a singles match. And we have to put an S here. 
Then we're going to copy this down until the singles stop. This is still singles. Okay, to here, control D. So that makes it singles matches, no rally scoring. And then let's see if there's any other singles matches. Doesn't look, oops, yep, a few more here, women's singles. So we're going to put this as an S here. And again, highlight down and control D. So we have to have the right D or S here for singles or doubles. Uh, and again, you can tell by the uh, bracket name uh, or the missing um, second name. So this is going to be the equation we want here uh, for the singles matches. So we're going to copy this down for all of our singles matches. So we're going to use the same equation here at the end because there's some singles matches for women's down at the bottom. Again, that's the equation there to get the uh, just the uh, player's name. And uh, we're looking good. Okay, so we've uh, created the main results page. Now we have to create the more challenging um, data which if we look at the template, we need to create the add members to club um, tab. And that is name, email, duper ID, if they have one, and possibly an external ID. So uh, let's start. Uh, we can copy these headings and come back to our spreadsheet and we'll create a second tab here, sheet two, paste those headings in. We don't need this one here. Okay, so what we can get out of uh, brackets is a registration profiles. So this first choice here, registration profiles, will give us a spreadsheet of all the registered players and we can copy some of this data over so let's copy um, this data up to here the email addresses aren't complete but it will uh, give us some part of the email address so we'll copy those over to our sheet, maybe put it here, okay, and uh, we don't need a lot of this data here, so we'll just delete most of this, and what we can do is we can have the name equal uh, this ampersand quote space quote ampersand last name that'll give us the player's name uh, the email uh, these are not uh, valid emails so we can't really put those in um, and I'm going to show you how you can get your duper IDs. The external ID can be this here. So we'll set that equal to that. That is the uh, Pickleball Brackets player ID. And so this gives us some of the data, if we copy down as an example. Uh, but the key thing we need is an email address and if the player's in duper, their duper ID. So what you need to do is to create a duper club. <clears throat> so uh, this is my Pickleball's Life duper club. You have to ask duper to create the club. Uh, and then email out to all of your players to um, join your club. 
because once you get your players uh, joining your club, you can get export a CSV here that will give you uh, this kind of spreadsheet from Duper. It'll have their Duper ID, their uh, name, email, and other information. So we can now extract this data. I really, we really just need these columns and add that to here. And wherever the name matches in this spreadsheet, in this set of data here, we can bring over the duper ID and email address. So what I did was I uh, took the data from duper and I had to put the name column first, then the duper ID, then the email. Okay, so you want the name column first. Then by using these two equations, we can look up this name from this list of data here. Uh, and if, it, if we find the name, we can bring over the email address and the duper ID. So here are the two equations. The is NA uh, function gets rid of that nasty and not available message. So if we now copy this data down, you'll see um, I'm getting a good number of emails um, and the duper IDs from my duper data over here. And I'm getting the uh, full names and the uh, brackets ID um, uh, here. So this gets us some of the email addresses. Um, there's various techniques to try to get other people's emails. You can either contact them um, because brackets does give you the player's phone numbers or just email everyone and have them uh, email you their email address uh, or try to look at your PayPal data to uh, get people's email addresses. The PayPal transactions uh, that you receive do have people's email addresses. But uh, Duper wants the name, email, uh, at least these two columns filled in for every player uh, listed here. Okay, and um, the last thing we need to check is do all of these names here match up to the data over here? Okay. And let's first copy that all down so we have it all. So we're going to copy it down so we have all the, uh, this way we have all the players listed uh, in column A. And then what we're going to want to do is verify that every name listed here, these four columns, matches exactly here. Um, we're going to say N2, this name over here, does it match uh, column A from sheet 2? Um, and if it does, it will put the person's name in. So if we copy these four columns all the way down to the bottom, we should be able to double check, copy down. Now the singles names won't match up, but all the other names need to match up. And if we just scroll through here, okay, these are singles matches. It looks like it's good. Uh, when I <clears throat> got the names from another source, uh, a lot of times uh, I was missing names here. But if you get your, if you get this, if you get this data here from, again, this data here, which is the brackets registration list, you will have everybody's name up here. You don't get their email addresses, but you do get their names 
and the names have to match again um, these four columns names here okay so that gives us most of the data now we uh, just have to fill in all the missing emails and then uh, what you can do is simply copy this data so if we go from G to AE all the way down to the bottom of AE right here and copy and then go to our, our um, template here we can paste in the data uh, let's get rid of these instructions and then we're going to paste over right here and paste special paste values and that will put the data into our spreadsheet that looks good and then we have to also bring in the names here so let's delete this data and we're going to want to grab the first few columns here okay don't be careful that these uh, headings match they do talk about having that heading data accurate copy that come back and we can paste values in again I believe this is paste values and we have our data all set up let's just double click and we just have to fill in missing emails and uh, we are ready to submit to duper another way you can support my channel is to use the amazon product links i have in the description of the video there's no cost to you or added cost or you can go to my amazon storefront and select a product and check out my pickleball venues google map there's a link in the description Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, all I ask is that you please subscribe by clicking on the top left and share this video with your friends. If you want to see some other pickleball videos, they're here in the center. My other YouTube channel, Tesla Life, is on the bottom left. Check it out. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts are listed on the right. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.